the dating show, what what's it called? The whatever podcast. Did that expose yeah. you to a new, you know, I'd imagine whatever podcast and fresh and fit have a slightly, you know, less political fan base. And then what do they call them? The red pill community for lack of a better term. Did that open you up to a different audience where you started seeing, um, you know, interactions and invites from other people in that sort of realm? In a certain sense, but you know, that type of content, I sort of abhor. Uh, I mean, I have respect for it insofar as like it is content and you know, the guy who runs it is competent. He's a smart guy. Uh, but I kind of hate the whole genre. I think it poisons the well. I think it's like you mentioned, Revenge of the Nerds. It's like pornography. I mean, you know, guys can watch that and be like, yeah, Andrew Tate, you know, tell her, tell her that she's a stupid bitch. You know, it's like, <laughs> like, it's like, and then, you know, on the other hand, it's like, you know, some like a woman's going to be like, yeah, only fans whore, tell them off and then we can be strong and independent. It's all just like bigger, like, People and you know, I like Andrew Tate for what it's worth. I mean, on some things like the Muslim thing, I think you know, <laughs> but as a, a figure, I think on the net, very positive. Uh, and honestly, I think a lot of the pushback he gets is because his existence opens up doors to have conversations about the nature of women and the nature yeah. of men that people just don't want to have, yeah, uh, especially with some of the criminal charges he's been going through, frankly. But, anyways. So I went on, but the thing with that kind of content is people are saying things and sometimes like I felt sincerely on that panel or just with the whole genre in itself, like I don't understand what they are trying to say. It's, it's as if they're just trying to prove that they can speak English. Like they'll be on there and I'm watching this content and they're just like, if a man is high status, he can leverage being high status to get himself a woman who's hotter and has a lower body count. Like, yeah, like, sh like, sure. Like, why are you saying that? Like, it's some like profound, like, obviously that's true. Like, why is this like what we're doing? Who doesn't know that? It's like, they're saying that just to say it. And it's like, you've got these guys who are, you know, relatively famous, relatively influential, have some, a bit of money. And they're just like, relax, little bro. I'll tell off the thought. And then you've got like, Chud Jack, thank you. you know? <laughs> tell her off. And like, that's like who the content is for. So I wasn't really going into that situation, like thinking I was going to, you know, get a lot of new fans i picked up uh some people but the the vice panel definitely in terms of like where you want to insert yourself was uh the better calculated move there uh very good opportunity because those are people who are at least intelligent enough to you know acknowledge the existence of political discussion people who are trying to do that in a more like relationship type of way i mean like you're not going to reinvent the wheel uh certainly there are more modern dynamics to be explored but yeah i tend to just think that content is like I mean, you're, you're representing like both extremes of just like either OnlyFans mm. thought or like red pilled alpha male. Um, and in most cases, I mean, that should have been dead. That stuff died out like at least close to a decade ago. And now all these people are just riding off Andrew Tate's coattails because he blew up about a year ago. And so now you've got this sort of like second wave red pill alpha male stuff. And, you know, for what it's worth, a lot of that stuff is good information for guys to have because maybe they didn't grow up with brothers. Maybe their dad didn't teach it to them. But um, at a certain point, it's just like, I don't know. Like, do you think Napoleon ever went to a seminar of like how to be a, you know, a better man, how to lead a cold shower? It's like at a certain point, this is just innate. It's just genetic. Some people are just predestined to be mediocre, like most people actually. And so I think it is good to maybe help people reach their ceiling. But at a certain point, it's disingenuous telling people like, if you buy my course, you're going to stop being like a wagey. Like some people are destined to be like gas station clerks. Like it's just like what it is. So I don't know. Yeah. I have a friend who loves doing his monotonous nine to five job. It's, it's very strange and shout out Joaquin Phoenix for the Napoleon reference. 